Hey guys, uh, Passe Baller here. So we still have one game left for October 19 NBA game day. I'm gonna make this one short. This is the Portland Trail Blazers versus Sacramento Kings game. Uh, this will happen in Sacramento. Um, the game will be at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, so that's 10 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. Again, I'm just inviting everyone who haven't subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Passe Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. All right. By the way, uh, the spread on this is minus one point five. Almost, uh, you know, almost a toss coin between these two teams. Minus one point five. It's actually given to the home team, Sacramento Kings. Now, talk about the home team. It's Sacramento, so that's already one advantage right there for the Kings. Now, for the Portland Trail Blazers, um, it's been a while. It's been a while since I since I would actually see Damian Lillard. It's actually one of my idols, uh, Damian Lillard and uh, Nurkic uh, playing together. I mean, when was the last time these two actually played together, right? Uh, they have been banged up by injuries. I'm talking about Portland Trail Blazers uh, last season. So I'm very much excited, and I'm pretty sure that... Uh, the entire Portland Trail Blazers community are excited, and um, uh, I mean to see their team back. You know, Anthony Simons, Jeremy Grant, Lillard, Nurkic, Josh Hart. That's the uh, projected starting five for uh, the Blazers. Now for the Kings, man, if they if uh, the Blazers got uh, the combination of Lillard and Nurkic, the Kings actually have uh, uh, this combo of. Uh, of a uh, left-hander, uh, left le left-handed uh, players. I'm talking about obviously De'Aaron Fox and Sabonis. Um, we saw Sabonis played for the Kings for you know several games last season. Um, and I don't know about you guys, but I actually uh, saw him having some fun, and you know, it it seems like he he was you know he was loving it there. Now, uh, given the opportunity to uh, start the season. Given the opportunity that uh, they would have uh, new players, you know, they would try to improve. I think Sabonis would actually have uh, is actually set up to have um, a very good uh, a very good season uh, this 2022-2023. This one's gonna be tough uh, to choose uh, to choose from uh, this particular matchup because again, this is almost a toss coin for me. I know it's the home it's it's the uh, it's Sacramento Kings, so it's actually at home, but. I just, you know, I just, I just can't go against Damian Lillard right now. I mean, it's been a while since Lillard hasn't uh, played, and I'm pretty sure that Lillard has been, uh, you know, has been wanting to uh, set his feet out there in the court. He, he he got Nurkic right there. I know Sabonis is right there as well, but man, you know Nurkic is actually bigger. He's actually stronger. Um, Nurkic is more talented though, but Nurkic, uh, Nurkic. Nurkic's size uh, for me is enough uh, uh, to give Lillard that confidence that he's got, you know, he's got a very good rebounder inside so that he can launch those uh, three point bombs that he can actually make. Uh, my pick on this one would be Portland Trailblazers, and I'm just going to take the plus 1.5 for safety reasons. Again, that's Blazers plus 1.5. Peace out, pase love, and God bless.